Depths is directed by Ty West and stars Mia Goth, Jenna Ortega, and Brittany Snow. In 1979, a group of young filmmakers set out to make an adult film in rural Texas. But when their reclusive elderly hosts catch them in the act, the cast find themselves fighting for their lives. Ever since I first knew about this movie at the beginning of the year, I've been really excited for it. Why? Because I've been on the hunt for every single A24 movie coming out over the next couple months. I am a huge advocate for A24 because they are the leading studio for any independent filmmaker. And yeah, while some of their projects I'm not really a big fan of, like High Life starring Robert Pattinson, most of their movies like Hereditary, Uncut Gems, and The Green Knight, in my opinion, have been ballpark hits. And once again, for X, it is another hit out of the ballpark. I can't say that phrase correctly because I'm not a big sports person. The point is, X, really freaking good. I think we can get the most obvious praise out of the way considering that I love this movie and it is a horror film. This movie is scary as hell. This movie pretty much masters horror film suspense. So many scenes that build tension, whether it's an eerie environment or just something in the background of a shot that doesn't seem right. And the end result is always creepy as hell. Alfred Hitchcock had a saying, and I'm paraphrasing here, you could show a five minute conversation of just two people talking about baseball and then suddenly they blow up. There you have a second of tension. But if you show the bomb first and then show their conversation before the explosion, you have a solid five minutes of suspense. This movie is the perfect example of that analogy. Another thing I love in this movie is the fact that this film loves 70s horror. There are so many visuals that pay homage to not just a single horror film from back then, like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but the entire genre of that type of disgusting southern set horror. From shots that are framed to make it look like some of it's shot in a 4x3 aspect ratio, to the overly yellow color palette that makes you feel the heat and humidity of the setting. I'm pretty sure you could have shown this film as some sort of fathom event for a fake 40th anniversary, and I don't think many people would have been the wiser. And even though it pays homage to all of those movies, it's not constrained to follow that same formula as all of those movies from the past. Even though most of the people in this movie seem like the same sort of generic caricatures you would see in any bad horror movie, the more that we pay attention to them, the more personality starts to grow for each of them. Even the villains, the old couple in this movie, have a lot of motivation and backstory where you see where they're coming from, you don't think they're the good guys by any stretch of the words, and they are definitely creepy, but you do see where they're coming from in their own sort of sick way. Add that with music that's either the great 70s soundtrack or the creepy original score, and you have a great horror film. A masterpiece? Maybe not. There are hiccups along the way, like even though most of the scares in this movie are great, there are a couple lame fake out jump scares here and there. And even though the whole premise of this movie is about an adult film, the people in this movie are way too nonchalant about being naked all the time. I mean, at the first half of the movie, when they're actually making the film, you sort of excuse it. But as the film goes on, it just sort of gets ridiculous. But again, those are really my only problems with the movie. I thought this film was fantastic. The characters work as both an homage to usual stereotypes of the genre while also developing them to make them each three-dimensional. The movie is stunning with so many visual homages to classic horror that it makes you feel like you're legitimately watching a film from the 70s. All of the scares and suspense in the film are handled nearly perfectly and the great music just adds a cherry on top to all that. What does it say when this is a better Texas Chainsaw Massacre follow-up up than the actual Texas Chainsaw Massacre follow-up that we got a month ago. I'm going to give X an A. 
Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite A24 film? I'd have to think about it for a while, but off the top of my head, I would have to go with Hereditary. This movie was scary, don't get me wrong, but that film terrified me. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. And don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell icon down below to stay up to date on all things movie, all things TV, all things nerd.